Singaporeans feel safe because the Republic has very clear laws and very tough enforcement against criminals, said Minister for Home Affairs and Law K. Shanmugam. These include the Criminal Law Temporary Provisions Act CLTPA, which allows the authorities to detain those linked to syndicates and secret societies without trial, he told reporters on the sidelines of a community event on April 7. People understand that the law is very targeted and there are safeguards in place. And that if the government abuses these powers, it will pay for it reputationally and at the ballot box, Mr. Shanmugam added. The CLTPA, widely known as Section 55, was enacted in 1955 to deal with Singapore's secret society problem. It has been used in cases where prosecution could not take place due to witnesses refusing to provide evidence for fear of reprisal. Today, it can be used for offences related to secret society activities. Unlicensed money lending, drug trafficking, kidnapping and organised crime. Persons issued a detention order under the CLTPA can be detained for up to 12 months, while those issued a police supervision order are subject to police supervision for up to three years. On April 3, the Act was extended by Parliament for another five years. This was the 15th time the CLTPA was extended. Mr. Shanmugam said on April 7 that the law was first enacted because the usual legal methods did not work in instances where witnesses were afraid their family would be harmed if they testified in court. Over time, Singapore's laws have ensured that the Republic leads the world for safety and low crime, where children and women can walk around without fear or worries of sexual assault. He added, Try doing that in any other city in the West. How many places can you do that? He asked. Such safety is why the population supports the CLTPA and understands the need for it. He added, during the event, MPC Katape, a multipurpose court area near Katape MRT station. You must have rule of law, you must believe in everything being done properly, said Mr. Shanmugam. You must also be smart enough to know that in limited areas, sometimes you have to make exceptions. And that is what the CLTPA is about. If the law is abused, it will be known and the government will suffer th both in public perception and in the elections. He added. This is as the people are educated, and there is transparency about the use of the law. If the government abuses its power, the people will throw the government out. So there is a wonderful check and balance in Singapore that is the people of Singapore, he said. Asked why the CLTPA has not been made permanent if it is such an important piece of legislation. Mr. Shanmugam said that is for every government to decide. The temporary nature of the CLTPA refers to a clause that requires the government to seek Parliament's endorsement every five years. So far, our philosophy has been we should go back to Parliament every five years and justify and explain, he said. That is another way of check, of doing check and balance. Mr. Shanmugam was speaking to reporters on the sidelines of the event, which expands Ne Soon Cares, a voucher scheme for Ne Soon residents. The 2024 edition expands the scheme from 800 to 72. 000 households throughout Ne Soon GRC. Upon attending a designated community activity, each Singaporean household there is eligible to receive $40 in e-vouchers that can be used at participating local merchants. The initiative is part of continued efforts by the area's grassroots organizations to provide financial relief and foster community bonding.